Okay, we're on the way to uh, to visit Ronnie and Wanda Hawkins right now. On the way up to Peterborough, here with Eric. Hello. How you feeling about it today, Eric? Feeling good, man. It's gonna be a good shoot. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, we're we're up here. This is gonna be um, one of the main interviews for the for this documentary. So I'm um, looking forward to it, and yeah, we'll we'll see how it goes. We'll check in with you. Okay, here we're ready, ready to go at the the Hawkins place. Let's do this. Mangled headphone. Okay, so uh, we just finished the interview with Wanda and Ronnie. <laughs> Eric, man, uh, how, how do you think it went? I think it was good. There was just a few unexpected things that happened uh, <laughs> sequentially, which but, made it worse. Like we took, we got there and we set everything up. Ronnie was, you know, doing his thing and waiting for us to kind of get set up. We set up for what, like 45 minutes? Yeah, 40 minutes, getting the lighting right, moving the bounce for Johnny, getting all the audio set up. And I don't know, you wanna tell him? <laughs> and then uh, Wanda went to get Ronnie. Ronnie came in and you know, his mobility is just a little a little difficult right now. Um, so he just kind of came into the room and sat down like on a different couch. <laughs> that we had set up for everything. We had a certain area set up for him and he just came in and sat down. Like we looked up and he was already seated in a different area. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Eric were like... He's not getting up from there. No. We had to just move <laughs> everything we spent like 40 minutes on. <laughs> we had to just move in a matter of like five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and that was uh, fun. Yeah, it was great. But the interview went really well. Ronnie was awesome. Wanda was telling great stories. And then uh, a few casualties, like Eric's headphones snapped, <laughs> which, uh, yeah, which is hilarious. That was great. Uh, the lav mic uh, lapel uh, attachment I broke too. I busted Eric's lav mic. I got to fix that. Yeah. Then we lost the piece. We're going to have to buy a new one, I guess. <laughs> it was all good. It was all worth it. It was all worth it. It was all worth it. it, all worth it. Anyways, it went well. Eric, man, that was good. That was good. That was funny. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll check back in with you guys. Hey everyone, so I got that awesome interview with Wanda and Ronnie Hawkins and uh, I'm really excited for it. They said a lot of great stories and just told the whole tale of John and Yoko being there. And the next kind of hurdle that I have to get over is I need to get access to their property, their former property in Mississauga. And it's been really hard to track down who the owners are of the property. Uh, I checked online on land registry and nothing was coming up. I'm actually at the property right now uh, outside. So there's a whole subdivision built around it right now, but you can see it's like a gated property here. I don't even know if you can see the house anywhere. It's a pretty nice property um, there's a tennis court there's a lot of space and like I said there's a whole subdivision built around it now but back in the day apparently this was all just open farmland so it's really cool uh, I have to get access to this place it's pretty key to the documentary so I'll keep you posted with um, you know where I'm at with that this is like the third hurdle out of maybe four hurdles that I need to kind of get over getting access to this house would be key and then after that, I need to get permission to use some of the photos that I found online. So I'm gonna have to track down who owns the photos and if they'll let me use them in the documentary. So those are the two kind of remaining major hurdles, but there's probably gonna be more. Anyways, <laughs> that's why I'm documenting this to kind of go through the whole process and just, you know, share it. Maybe someone will get something out of this at some point. But anyways, I'm looking forward to this step. Staying positive.